Lithium batteries are practically everywhere in our lives, powering our smartphones, laptops, and just about every electronic gadget we own. But what's even more impressive is that over 95% of electric vehicles globally still run on lithium battery technology. That stat alone tells you how dominant lithium remains as the gold standard in battery innovation. Yet, few alternatives have managed to challenge its throne until now. Here's the issue though. Lithium-ion batteries haven't seen any real game-changing breakthroughs in years. Their energy density has plateaued, while costs have soared, and fire risks remain a major concern. This has kept EV prices high and made some consumers hesitant. Even Tesla, the global EV leader, owes much of its rise to lithium tech but, as Elon Musk recently admitted, the cost of lithium and other materials has gone absolutely wild, the price of lithium and battery materials. It just went crazy, Musk noted, the price of cells doubled. Lithium prices jumped like 500%, completely insane. So it begs the question is, lithium really Tesla's long-term play? Maybe not because now word is getting out from Tesla's ultra-secretive lab that a new breakthrough battery has emerged. A battery that may not just rival lithium, it might completely dismantle its dominance. This new battery is made from materials that are not only abundant but also pack three times the energy density of today's lithium batteries. That's right three times. It's not flawless of course no battery is, but when you compare it side by side, this battery isn't just competing, it's outperforming lithium across the board. And once its last major drawback is solved, it won't just be a competitor it'll be a lithium killer. So what is this new tech? What makes it so appealing to Elon Musk? And just how far can it really take us? Let's break it all down. Tesla's dominance to date has been powered by lithium ion tech. They've primarily used LFP and NMC battery chemistries in vehicles like the Model 3 and Model Y and the new 4680 cell in the side truck. All of these contain lithium along with other high-cost materials like nickel and cobalt. If you've ever googled battery materials, you know these are some of the most expensive components in any EV. Even Musk admits the 4680 is more expensive than other cells. Currently, our 4680s cost more than our supplier's cells, Musk said in a Q&A. Despite being one of the most advanced batteries available today, the 4680 comes with a big catch. It's only used in expensive vehicles like the Cyber, which starts at $69,990. That raises a valid concern can Tesla scale this battery tech to more affordable cars like the Model 3 and Model Y. With rising lithium prices, the answer looks increasingly doubtful, and that's where the battery enters the conversation. According to recent leaks from Tesla's R&D division, the company is now testing what's being called the A1 battery of 2's generation, aluminum ion battery that could rewrite everything we know about EVS, unlike Lithium batteries, these use aluminum ions as charge carriers. Each aluminum ion carries three positive charges, compared to just one for lithium. That means they can shuttle three times the energy per ion, leading to significantly higher energy density without relying on rare expensive materials. Technically speaking, an aluminum ion battery includes three components, an aluminum anode, a graphite or graphene-based cathode, and a liquid electrolyte that transfers ions between the two. What's amazing is that early tests already show energy densities exceeding 700 watt-hours per kilogram a massive leap from today's NMC batteries, which average around 180 to 200 watt-hours per kilogram. Let's put that into perspective. A Tesla Model 3 Long Range AWD currently offers 346 miles of range using a 79 kilowatt-hours lithium battery with roughly 180 watt-hours per kilogram. Now imagine replacing that with an aluminum ion battery of the same size, but delivering 700 watt-hours per kilogram. In theory, the range could soar past 1,000 miles. Realistically, after accounting for packaging and cooling losses, a 767-mile range is more likely but that's still more than double the current performance. Lithium-ion batteries have been stuck at around 250 watt-hours per kilogram for decades. Even Tesla's much-hyped 4680 only reaches about 272 watt-hours per kilogram. So when we talk about the leap to 700 watt-hours per kilogram, we're talking about next-level innovation. But there's more to this than just raw power. The soaring cost of lithium, largely due to limited global supply and high demand, is another major reason Tesla is exploring alternatives. Lithium prices have spiked up to 500% in the past two years, with Elon Musk openly acknowledging that this is not sustainable. Battery production costs currently represent 25 to 40% of an EV's price, and switching to aluminum, which is one of the most abundant elements on Earth could dramatically lower these costs, with 1.59 billion tons of bauxite reserves available worldwide. Aluminum is far more accessible and less affected by geopolitical instability. Early estimates suggest aluminum ion battery production could cost $40 to $65 per kWh, compared to the $80 to $145 per kWh range for lithium-based batteries. For context, 
the battery in a Tesla Model Y, which costs $9,300 to $11,400, could drop to as low as $4,300 to $5,300 with aluminum ion tech dot, but the real job drop at charging speeds. While lithium batteries can take up to 35 minutes to reach, 80% aluminum ion batteries can fully charge in 15 minutes with no overheating. That's thanks to aluminum ions moving three times faster than lithium ions. Combine that with superior thermal management and you're looking at a battery that lasts longer and charges, quicker than anything we've seen. Speaking of longevity, aluminum ion batteries show 15,000 charge cycles in lab testing. That's potentially 30 years of use. Compare that to 2,000 cycles for lithium batteries, and it's clear this isn't just an upgrade, it's a revolution. Why such longevity? Aluminum is inherently stable, forming a protective oxide layer that resists corrosion. It also doesn't form dendrites which are metallic growths that degrade lithium-ion batteries and even cause fires. Aluminum-ion batteries have almost zero dendrite formation, making them much safer for everyday use. Dot safety is a big deal. Lithium batteries can explode when overcharged or punctured, and the smoke is both toxic and nearly impossible to extinguish. Aluminum batteries, by contrast, are chemically stable and far safer in extreme conditions. Dot. Add to that their high recyclability. Aluminum is widely recyclable, and studies show up to 80% of the materials in an aluminum ion battery can be reused. This addresses both the environmental impact and cost efficiency to things consumers and manufacturers care deeply about, but no tech is perfect. Aluminum ion batteries currently struggle in low temperatures which limits their performance. In colder regions, it's an active area of research, and Tesla's engineering teams are working to fix this. Once they do, aluminum ion batteries could power not just Tesla's cars but the entire next generation of electric vehicles. In fact, Tesla is planning to manufacture these batteries at a new facility next to Giga Nevada, with full-scale production, targeted by the end of this year. If successful, we could see aluminum ion batteries in mass market, Tesla's like the Model 3 and Model Y, offering 700 miles of range, 15-minute charging, and a battery life of up to 30 years. That's not just imp a historic leap for EVs. So what do you think? Could aluminum ion batteries be the tech that finally makes electric cars mainstream, affordable, and superior in every way? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video insightful, smash that like button, subscribe to Roadzone, reviews, and hit the bell so you never miss our deep dives into the future of EVs. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay electric, stay curious, and we'll catch you in the next one.